So when you download a ROM directly from the internet, it's gonna be in a format that needs to be extracted. So you cannot simply take that ROM and load it directly into your emulator and expect to play it. It needs to be extracted. For an example, I have downloaded The Simpsons Hit and Run for PlayStation 2. And as you see, the type of file is a 7-zip file. The PlayStation 2 emulator PCSX2 would not recognize this ROM in this state. So what you want to do is head on over to 7zip.org, link to this page is in the description below. And we're going to download this program to extract that ROM. If you are on an older Windows computer, then you want to download 32-bit, but most computers today will be running 64-bit. So what you want to do is go ahead and click download next to 64-bit. And your download should start. 7-zip is now downloaded and I have saved it onto my desktop. Now let's open it. You can't see my screen right now because my user account control came up. Go ahead and click yes to allow this app to make changes to your device. Destination folder, this is where we're gonna install 7-zip on our PC. By default, it's gonna try to install on our C drive. If you would like to change that, click over here and go ahead and select wherever you would like to install 7-zip. I'm fine with it being on my C drive, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit install. When it's done, close and now 7-zip is set up and ready to extract some roms let's go back to our ps2 rom simpsons hit and run and now that we have 7-zip we can extract this file now all you want to do is right click on the file go to 7-zip and extract here and your new file is going to be a disk image file type which is playable in pcsx2 so we no longer need the 7-zip file, so let's right click on that and delete it. Now this file here is what we will load into the emulator. Now, if I bring up the PCSX2 emulator, go up to CDVD, ISO selector, browse, locate wherever you have your extracted PS2 games at. And there's my Simpsons hit and run ROM, type this image file. Go ahead and select it, then go over to system, and boot ISO full. And as you see, your game will load up. If you would like to see a full setup guide of the PCSX2 emulator, the link is in the description below. Thanks for watching and I hope this video was helpful.